Yikes. And Count is immaterial here since he's working on a strike. He's just got to uh, cover this one and uh, fill nine more and eke out a one pin victory. Oh no. So it comes down to this. Charles needs a strike to win, nine to tie, eight's a loser. Logan can't watch. And he blows the rack. And once again with these two, it comes down to the very last ball. Charles needs seven or better on this ball to win. Six is a tie, five is a loser. Oh, and he gets it right on the number. There's seven. And Charles takes the match by a single pin. That's the same outcome we had the last time Charles won the last match by a pin. This time it's 361 to 360. So Logan needs to fill 18. Uh oh. Wow. Wow. Okay, that could be a decisive break right there. Gotta make it. And he does. He needs nine on this ball to shut out Brandon. If he gets eight, Brandon can get up and throw three strikes in the tenth for a tie. Nine's a winner. Brooklyn! And he gets nine and wins it. Again, Daniel and Rudy can get to 193. Logan and Will are at 187 right now if they throw the next two balls in the gutter. Somehow I don't anticipate them doing that. And that is game, set, match right there. That puts him in the 200s. And Logan and if Christian marks, he forces Logan to mark. And the light shaker just will not go. The seven stubbornly refuses to fall. And now Christian's gotta have this. If he spares and strikes, he shoots 180 and forces Logan to mark. Oh, look out. And it hooks by. You're kidding me. That means Logan needs, uh, he just needs six pins. Christian's just handed him the match. That's it. That is a winner right there. He won. All right, Christian. There's a good one. Maybe if we both strike out on the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th, we'll have a chance. Logan with a light shaker in the 10th. If the old guy could strike out in the 10th, Megan make a mistake here. Megan hasn't made many mistakes today. I would look for her to throw a good one here. Possible 290. Ooh, just a little high. Solid six. Still gonna be a good game. And Randy goes high, and there's a four pin. And Megan converts her spare 
That's going to put her in the 260s. So Logan needs to fill 17. That means he needs a mark here. He needs 17. Uh-oh, through the nose. He doesn't make this. Brandon can get up and win. Open frame in the 10th. He's got a strike on this ball and the next ball and then get two pins on the fill. And Brandon is going to back off and think about this one for a minute. All right. Got to have it. Oh, my goodness. Now he's going to stop mid-approach. Well, he is so completely out of his rhythm and pre-shot routine. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be surprised if he gets a strike here. Only because he's so out of his rhythm now. Prove me wrong, Brandon. Put this one right in the hole. Nope. Well left, pulled it, yanked it left. The one, three, nine. Logan is your winner. The best battle of the network, Logan. Logan to take the lead. There it is. He's moved out ahead. He needs one more to shut out Big Logan. Anything less than a strike here, Logan M can get up and win. Week 10, Logan M must strike on the first ball and the second ball. And he needs nine on the third ball for a tie, all three strikes in the 10th to win by one. He must strike here. And he gets it. He must strike here or little Logan wins. It's a little high, four pin. Now Christian has opened the door for Charlie to throw two strikes and shut him out. Oh, and Charlie gets the first one. And with one more strike, he can put the lid on it. This is the shutout ball. Oh, and that is it. Charlie wins seven to five. These two are both very competitive and they've got pretty high standards and high expectations they have of themselves. And if I had that much talent, I would too. Solid 10 pin, I believe that does it. Charlie is your winner. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Charlie with a spare here would have 205 in the ninth and a 225 if he fills it up. So he needs eight pins right here and this is over. Gets nine and that's a winner right there. Got to get up and it does. Spare in the ninth for Lamar. Oh, but that double really puts Charlie in a commanding position. A 30-pin lead with just one frame left. Lamar's back is to the wall. He's got a strikeout. And there is a nine count and that means Charlie is our winner. So Lamar with a possible 189, Charlie sitting at 187. He needs three pins and this is over. 
See ya. That's the winning ball right there.